Hi guys, I thought it would be fun to do a video about some of Usborne's non-fiction books. Now when um, Peter Usborne started the company back in the 70s, his vision was to create non-fiction books for children that would rival um, anything that they would want to see on TV or comics or magazines, that it would um, be as engaging and that it would pull them away from those things and want, make them want to read. So. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, nonfiction was not what I wanted to read because it was boring. These books are not boring. They're anything but boring. And a lot of the times my kids don't even know they're learning something um, because they're so engaged with the book and the activity that they're just learning and they don't even know it and they're having fun. So this is one of our Shine a Light books. All of our Shine a Light books are... They're nonfiction. They're super informative. This one is about vegetable gardens. There's the apple tree. There's camouflage in the human body now. There are new ones. Um, there is on the space station, which my kids love. There's trains and construction sites and so many more. So you have to check these out. They're super fun. These are our flashlight books. So on every page, you're going to have a little bit of text. And then what you do is you take a flashlight. Oh, this big make this work. And you hold it behind and you see... You find the hidden picture and look, you can see the seeds on the inside. So then you turn the page and on the back, there's more information about what you just read and it's teaching them something. And that is every single page. There's a hidden picture and you put the flashlight behind and then you learn more on the back. So these are so unique and so much fun. You have to check these out. Um, this one is one that my three-year-old son loves. It is his favorite book. And when I first saw it, I was like, what is so special about this book? I'll tell you what's so special. Um, fun illustrations. Um, it's not a story. It's almost like a finding book, like a Where's Waldo type thing. But what it's doing is it's asking, it's teaching kids colors and numbers and, um, concepts like tallest, shortest, longest, um, happy, sad, things like that. So every single book or every single page has a question. Which caterpillar is the longest? Which flower is the tallest? Find a red bug with three spots. So they have to know those concepts or learn those concepts as you're reading. And there's a ton of pages. <laughs> you have to do every single one. Um, and it's got little cutouts and stuff, which the kids love too. So that one's fun for your littles that are learning these concepts. Okay, this one is for um, kids that are interested in music or if your kids take music lessons, piano, anything like that. Um, this one has to do, this is Lion Speedy Sauce. This one has to do with rhythm. We have another one that is called Elephant's Birthday Bells. And um, so this one is rhythm and counting and it comes with a CD and it has seven tracks. One of them reads the story to you. So there's a story about Lion Speedy Sauce and then they have activities um, on the CD about learning how to count, learning to stay on the beat, um, and things like that. So your kids are learning about music in this one. This one is our Live the Thought Computers and Coding. My eight-year-old son loves this book. And you know who else loves this book? His dad. It's kind of funny. Um, he was looking for it one day and I caught him outside reading it and I was like, <laughs> I took a picture and I was going to put it on Facebook and he told me not to. <laughs> So I didn't. Um, but lots of flaps. It teaches you how computers work and what's inside computers and how coding, you know, how you, when you write code, what happens. And um, it's just super engaging, super interactive for those kiddos that are interested in computers and um, things like that. So, and even their dads like this one. All right, and finally, last but not least, here are, is one of our encyclopedias. This is the Esborn Encyclopedia of World History. Um, we have several encyclopedias nice and thick. This one's paperback, but we do have it in hardcover and um, in library binding. Um, and it comes with internet links. So A, when you open it, it's like beautiful, gorgeous illustrations. There isn't a ton of overwhelming text. The text that is in there is good and it's informative and it's succinct, but there's great illustrations. Internet linked means that you go to the site that it provides. Um, I think it's I don't remember what it is, but as we're in quick links or something like that. And you go there and you type in what book you're reading and what page you're on even, and it'll pull up more sites um, that have more information on whatever the subject is. And the best part is, is that those sites are clean. You can trust that somebody at Usborne is watching those sites and they're going through it and they're only putting on stuff that we know is safe for our children to go look at. So in a world where it's kind of scary to go use Google and like just type in something, this makes sure that our kids are safe, but they're finding the information that they need, which is super duper awesome. So those are some of our nonfiction. If you need help finding some more nonfiction books for your kiddos, ask me. I would love to find something just for you. Thanks. Bye.